we're going to talk about seed treatments just a little bit. And when you think about soybean seed treatments, I think it's great because you can choose what you want. When you go to pick up your seed at your seed dealer, you can say, you know, I want this seed treatment on or that seed treatment. And this one I don't think pays, so I don't want that one. On corn seed, the seed company chooses for you. And why are they choosing the things they choose? We're going to talk about some of the different components going on seed today and some things that you may want to demand from your seed company. Well, Darren, you say the seed corn company decides. They decide what does get on the seed, but you as a farmer can put more things on if you wanted to. But let's start with what does a seed company put on exactly? So what do most seed companies put on their seed? Well, most of the time they're putting on fungicides and insecticides. So they'll put on typically two, maybe even three different fungicides, and then they'll add a neonic insecticide as well. All right, how about can I put more insecticide on or should I ask the seed dealer for more insecticide on my seed? Well, there are certainly more things that you could add on. And when we talk about that insecticide, you'll see for example, poncho levels going from 250 up to 500 in some cases. I think that's a good thing if you've got heavy wireworm pressure. All right, so let's talk about fungicide. As a farmer, can I put more fungicide on and should I put more fungicide on on the seed? Well, when you're putting a liquid seed treatment onto seed that's already treated, over treating with additional liquid can be a little tricky and can lead to some problems. So to say, I'm gonna take a liquid fungicide at home and spray it on my corn seed, and think you're gonna do a great job doing that, I don't know about that. I don't know that I would go that far, but what if the seed company was to put more fungicide on? I think that would be great. You look at Pythium, for example, the industry has been using metalaxyl or one of its derivatives for the last 40 years, and really that's the only thing that's great on Pythium. Well, there are other active ingredients out there that are working very well. And as we see metal axle and those types of products working less effectively out in the field, I think it is time for more fungicide on the seed. Okay, here's my next question for Darren. How about more nutrients? Because I've heard some seed companies say, well, you know what, we could put uh, whatever it is, iron on that seed or maybe some other nutrient. How do you feel about putting any more nutrients directly on the seed? There are only so many pounds of nutrients that could be put on seeds. So you're gonna get such a low dose out there. It's certainly not something that's going to help you out throughout the whole season. Could it help and give you a little bit of boost early in the season? Yeah, it could. But how much zinc are you going to get on that seed? How much iron are you going to get on that seed? I know there are some guys out there doing it and doing it well, but you really have to be realistic about this. I'd get in a two by two or something in for if I wanted to put a good deal of nutrients out. Here again, if I was going to treat the seed with fertility, I'd be very concerned about, am I going to hurt germination if I get too much on there? And especially if I have to carry that seed over for a year, what are the effects on germination? So I get really concerned about that. All right, how about biologicals? What do you think about biologicals, Darren? I am huge on biologicals on the seed if they work. Now there are a lot of different products out there and it's really important to be selective here because some of those biologicals will also have plant growth regulators with them that may not play well with other things that you're doing in your crop production program. So be real curious about what's in those products. And if it's say bacteria and fungi, for example, in most cases, that's gonna be just fine. We've been using quick grits for many years. There's some other biologicals that we're starting to use on our farm too, as testing shows that some of these new technologies are paying even more. Last question, Nema Strike from Monsanto. It's a new chemical nematicide that they are putting on seed and some seed companies are putting on seed. How do you feel about that one? Does the product work? The answer is yes. We think the product is good. The question is, do you have harmful nematodes at levels that would require you to treat? That's a great question because most farmers across the United States, when you ask them, what are your nematode levels in corn? Well, they don't really know and they haven't ever measured that. So it's going to be something for Monsanto to build this market up and, and show what kind of things farmers need to be looking for out in fields and then get some seed out to the farmer to do some testing on a farm scale, not just at a university level or in replicated trials. The number one thing we want you to do when you're ordering your seed corn this year is ask what seed treatments come on my seed. There is an absolute difference from one company to the next, and that can be some of the reason why some seed companies have cheaper seed and others more expensive. Notice one thing we didn't say was put on the seed was weed control because you need to get out there and treat the whole field. If you have a problem with this week's Weed of the Week, can you identify it? 